guys, this is Roger the Mechanic here again, and today I'll be reviewing the ThinkCar OBD2 scanner. As you can see, it's really small and easy to carry around, and it's Bluetooth, which makes it handy. So, first thing you guys need to do is go to the App Store if you have an iPhone, or Google Play if you have an Android, and search ThinkCar. It's the very first app that comes up with the T in the icon. Download it and make an account. After that, what you guys need to do is connect this OBD2 scanner to your OBD2 port. On a lot of cars, it's under the steering wheel towards the middle or bottom left. I'm working on a 2013 Honda Civic today, and it's going to be on the bottom left. So let me hook that up. Okay, once that's hooked up, Turn the key to the on position, but don't start the car. And then you can go ahead and launch the ThinkCar app. As you can see, there's four different modules here. OBD functions is to basically check for check engine lights stored in the system or current check engine lights. Full vehicle scan is a really cool module. It scans all different systems such as transmission, ABS, airbag lights, four-wheel drive systems, a heads-up display, or any other s systems that are applicable. Real-time remote diagnostics is basically someone can remote into your phone and look at the data you receive and help you diagnose a problem while you're fixing a car if you need. Black box is another cool feature where if you drive with the scanner connected, it'll record different readings such as maybe temperature, your O2 sensor readings, etc., which can also help you diagnose a problem. So, first module I'll show you is the OBD2 functions. The ThinkCar app will automatically pick up your VIN number, as you'll see in a few in a little bit. So, it automatically picked up my VIN. It says there's no check engine lights currently and no check engine stored in the ECU. However, there's five readiness modules not completed. This is how a lot of people get scammed when buying a car. If, if there's a check engine light on, a lot of times the owner might just reset the battery or reset it with the scanner and you go to check a car and there's no check engine light on and you won't know the difference until you drive maybe 50, 100 miles and it comes back on. However, if you have this scanner, it'll show you that there's five modules not completed. If your state has emission inspections, you can only pass with maybe one or two not completed. So if I took this car in for emissions inspections today, it would not pass. Now, this, these are other different functions you can check. You can see data stream, freeze rates, fault codes, stuff like that. Now let me go back and I'm going to show you guys the full vehicle module scan. So this scan automatically also picks up my VIN but this takes a little longer so I'll go ahead and start it and I'll show you the results in a bit at the end of the video. Hi hey guys so this is the results of the scan as you can see this 2013 Honda Civic had no faults and it scanned about uh, seven different modules. However, this full diagnosis does scan about maybe 40, 50 different modules, but these are the ones applicable to this car because this car doesn't have a four-wheel drive. It doesn't have a heads-up display or anything else like that that it also scans. Once this is done, you can also click on report. Since there's no faults, there's not really, really much of a report. It just shows that everything's normal. However, if there were actual faults, you would see an X over here instead of the checks. And if you clicked on it, it would give you the trouble code. So this is a really good scanner. It, it's able to do stuff that I've seen maybe like $500 or $1,000 scan tools do. And this is just 40 bucks. So I highly recommend getting this for any of your needs. Thank you.